On perhaps the worst days of your life, 911 dispatchers and call takers are on the front lines prepared to help you. Calls can range from a baby needing CPR to a person shot or a hostage situation. Roxanne Elias takes us to the Sacramento County 911 Communication Center to explain how the process works. 911, what's your emergency? Every day, call takers and dispatchers answer hundreds, if not thousands, of calls coming into the Sacramento County 911 Communication Center. The call takers will answer that call. They'll determine where your location of the emergency is at. If it's in our jurisdiction, then we'll put in a call for service. If the public safety answering point isn't the right one, then you'll get routed to the correct agency, such as the California Highway Patrol or vice versa. And although they're gathering information from the caller, they're still able to allocate resources. As uh, they're receiving that information, yeah, they're, they're typing that stuff up and they're able to still communicate with outside agencies with the fire department and just amongst themselves without having to put the person on hold or any, any hangups like that. But the situation could be harder to deal with if it involves a crime or multiple callers. Take, for example, the recent Highway 160 crash that left five people dead. It involved a carjacking and a chase that ended in Elk Grove. Understanding that we are a huge county and we are handling multiple calls for service at the same time. Um, especially when there is a scenario where you have a major incident, understand that you're not the only one that may be calling about that to report it. So we may be inundated with calls that come in. And if there's a stabbing or shooting, law enforcement has to arrive first. At the same time, first responders can be staged outside, but cannot aid help until the scene is cleared. It's an entire process put in place with everyone's safety in mind. I know that sometimes, you know, you're dealing with your worst day, but at the same time, uh, we're getting that information for, for the public, for our officers, for them, and that help is on its way. Dispatchers do about six to eight months of on-the-job training. Keep in mind, they are trained to stay calm and have a set list of questions to ask because it helps them respond better to the caller. And they say knowing your location is key.